Praise the Lord, how are you, church? This is your brother in Christ, Prophet Okumbo Abraham Kenneth. How are you today? Child of God, God bless you. Concerning first fruits, the strong arguments going on in the land in these last days concerning first fruits. Is it biblical? Is it scriptural? Is it another way of church men, church women collecting people's money? Is it another angle of a scam in church? Is first fruit a scam? I want to give you my prophetic opinion. Me, Prophet Okumbo, my own prophetic opinion. Some other persons may say whatever God revealed to them. Okay? We are tired of talking about the issue with money in church. Why? Because God did not create money. Money was created by men, by human beings. For the purpose of exchange. Trade by butter. For the purpose of legal tender. That was why money was created. You give me money, you collect my goods. That is it. When it comes to first fruit, Jesus Christ said, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, hear this, the same bringeth forth much fruit. This is your first fruit, to abide in him. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. John 15 from verse 1 to 5, for without me, you can do nothing. So when they talk about first fruit, a carnal pastor will be looking at other people's first month salary to collect it for themselves as first fruit. A crooked man, a crooked woman who knows that there is no scriptural reference for first fruit as your first month salary will collect your money by reason of scamming you. It's a scam. My personal prophetic opinion. However, because I say it's a scam, let's back it up with scripture. I would balance it the way the Holy Ghost helped me. You see, the Bible says that the husband man, 2 Timothy 2.6, the husband man that laboreth will be partaker of the fruits. The Bible didn't say first fruit. He said will be partaker of the fruits. That takes you back to John chapter 15 from verse 1 to 5. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. What are the fruits that the Bible is talking about? Galatians chapter 5. If you read from verse 19 to 22. The fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience. Those fruits that are there is what our first fruit should be. If your pastor is looking for first fruit, it should be found in Galatians 5, 19 to 22. It had nothing to do with money. My prophetic opinion backed up with scriptures. It had nothing to do with money. However, again, furthermore, if there be a brother or sister in church that loves their pastor, love their pastor's wife, that love the things of the spirit and love the things of God, and beside giving to men of God, buying land, buying chairs for the church, helping orphans, helping the widows, beside doing all those things, you now say, I want to volunteer. That is you now in your own capacity. Maybe in your uprightness, sincerity, or in your foolishness. 
you decide whatever you choose to do with your first month salary that is now between you and god nobody should be forced to give first month salary to any pastor as a symbol of reverence or first fruit don't force the people because god loves a cheerful giver okay god loves a cheerful giver if the person decided they want to do it on their own voluntarily nobody should say they should not give to church however also nobody should force people to give first month salary as all this foolishness going on in the land it's the same thing with tithes and offerings we are not levites we should not take tithe very true because the tithe is supposed to be for the levite according to the word of the lord we are gentiles saved by grace grafted into god's church we are not levites we are not from one of the 12 tribes of israel i know so many people will hate me for this message we are not child of god we are not levites you were not born in israel of the tribe of levi however because you are a man of god you have been engrafted in as a believer if somebody in your church 10 people 20 people decide this pastor this man that labor for us we take it upon ourselves to be a blessing to him and his family so be it nobody should stop those people from helping their pastor these messages should be balanced it should be balanced nobody should stop anybody from helping same also nobody should force anybody to give tithes and offerings or first fruits god bless the body of christ amen amen and amen